this tutorial I'm going to quickly show you how to make the pin warp slow motion effect or the puppet slow motion effect as some call it. To start this off you first need to record your characters in a nice position. I suggest getting something in the foreground, the midground, and the background so that when you make the shot 3D there's more objects moving to make it more dynamic. So you want to get the angle of your characters. Just record it for a bit but realistically it's going to be a still image. And then get the characters out of the screen so just play it forward a bit until you have the same shot with no characters in it. Now if there's smoke or particles moving in the background, make sure to record actual footage, do like 10 seconds of this so you can see it moving, so at least there's some movement in the shot. Bring your two shots into After Effects. You're going to want to roto out each character and any foreground pieces that might move separately from the camera. After you're done rotoing them, you're going to make each piece that you rotoed a separate layer so we can control it better. Then we're going to keyframe the simple movement using just position, scale, rotation. After that it's going to look very robotic, but don't worry, this is where you're going to use your puppet tool to add joints to your characters, and then you're going to keyframe at the beginning, and then at the end, and you're going to move them slightly in what you think would be a natural movement for a, a human being. So you're going to have to play around with this, be careful, you can really warp your characters. So just play with it until you get a nice movement, like examples here. After that, you're going to create a camera, depending on how wide or how close the shot is. You might do a 50mm or an 80mm camera. With that, you're going to make your objects 3D, and you're going to keep your background layer at 0 Z space. In this example here, I'm not going to move my midground closer because I'm actually going to have my midground guy kind of stuck to the background. Since he's on this plank, I don't want to roto the plank. But the main one is to move your foreground pieces a lot closer to the camera. And then your camera keyframes, you're going to set your position, then you're going to go to the end of your shot, set your position as well, and then play around with the camera to kind of create a natural camera movement. And you're going to see your foreground objects move faster because they're closer to the camera, making it look more realistic. After that comes my favorite step where we're going to fake the depth of field, or at least uh, look like the camera is focusing, doing a rack focus. Each layer I add the effect called camera lens blur, and I add keyframes, so I like to start with the main character out of focus. So I just up the blur on that, and I keep the blur at zero on the things in the background. Then I'll keyframe it a little, like a second in or so. Go another second and switch the keyframes where I'll make the foreground character now in focus, so zero on the blur, and the background character out of focus, or the background in general out of focus, with amping up the blur there. That's the basics. After that, it's up to you if you want to add camera shake, fog, sky replacement, lens flares. Uh, go crazy with it, but this has been a hopefully quick tutorial on how to do the pin warp effect.